Hey guys, Martin here for Mattress Clarity. If you've looked much for mattresses online, you've probably heard of Casper, and today we're here to talk about the Casper Hybrid Mattress. We're gonna take a look at its construction, my experience with it, who it's a good fit for, and who it's not a good fit for. Let's get started. First off, you want to see a list of our top picks for mattresses, head over to mattressclarity.com. They're going to find some great reviews on mattresses, bedding, pillows, and great discounts on mattresses like the Casper Hybrid. So we're talking about the Casper Hybrid, and as the name suggests, it comes from Casper, a producer of very popular online mattresses. Here at Mattress Clarity, we're a big fan of the Casper Original Mattress, so I was excited to try out the Casper Hybrid Mattress, see how it worked for me. Let's hop in. So now let's take a look at the construction of the Casper Hybrid Mattress. First off, it's going to be 11 inches tall, starting on top and then working our way down. First off, on top, you're gonna to have a knit cover, very breathable, very soft as well. Top layer is going to be a responsive polyfoam. You can see it bounces back into place very, very quickly. It also features something called Airscape technology. Basically, it's ventilated for airflow to help with breathability in the top of the mattress. Now below that, we have kind of the heart and soul of the Casper Hybrid Mattress, the zone support system. Basically, it's a layer of memory foam, but as you can see, it's different towards the center than it is toward the head and the foot of the mattress. Toward the center, it's actually firmer. And the idea behind that is supposed to be more supportive when you're back in stomach sleeping and more pressure even when you're on your side because it's softer under the shoulders and then down here at the bottom of the mattress as well. Now below that, you're gonna have a foam encasement, but behind that, you're gonna have supportive coils. So. What does all that mean? Well, as I said, the zone really makes this mattress stand out, makes it feel firmer, more supported, depending on your sleeping position. Now, speaking of cooling, this is going to be a pretty breathable mattress with a breathable cover, breathable top foam layer, and with the coils here, a lot of room for airflow. Last but not least, speaking of durability, with these coils, these high density foams on top, should last for between seven and 10 years. So now let's talk about firmness and feel. In terms of firmness, I thought the Casper Hybrid was close to a seven out of 10. It's a little bit firmer than average. Some soft layers on top, but the further you press in, it does get firmer. I also wanna note though, that with the zoning, it's gonna feel a little bit firmer or softer depending on your sleeping position. Now, in terms of feel, overall more of a bouncy, responsive feel. You do have memory foam in the second layer, but overall, it bounces back into place pretty quickly. Now, testing out the bounce as well, with the ball here, <laughs> quite a bit of bounce actually. And that lets me know it's pretty easy to move around on the Casper Hybrid Mattress. So now let's talk about how I feel in different sleeping positions on the Casper Hybrid Mattress. Starting off my back, it's a very, very good match for me. You have a great balance of comfort and support with the Casper Hybrid Mattress. Nice foams on top that are soft, allow your hips to sink in just the right amount, and supportive coils in the base layer. You also have that zone support system in the second layer. So it's actually firmer toward the center of the mattress, giving you extra lumbar support. So overall, very good for back sleeping. Moving to my side, it is softer under my shoulders and my hips because of that zoning. I'm still feeling some pressure on my shoulders, not so much on my hips. Again, I'll note I'm a larger person. If you weigh less than me, you're not gonna press quite so far into this mattress. It might feel softer to you than it did to me. You might feel more comfortable side sleeping than I did. Then moving to my stomach, a decent match for stomach sleeping overall, support from the coils and the second layer, you have that extra support from the zoning under the hips. That being said, I'm a larger person. I probably want something a little bit firmer, a little bit more supportive overall, just for stomach sleeping. Here at Matt is clear to like to mix subjective opinion with objective tests. And one of those tests is the pressure map. So I lie down on my backside and stomach. You see anywhere from blue for no pressure, all the way up to red for high pressure. Now pay close attention to my side sleeping results specifically on my shoulders and my hips. Let's get started. If you sleep with a partner, you also want to think about motion transfer. Basically, you're lying down on one side of the mattress and your partner moves around on the other side. Are you going to feel that motion or not? Now, to test out the motion transfer on the Casper Hybrid mattress, place a glass of water here in the center. Press in the other areas. You can see it is moving a little bit. There is some disturbance in the water. 
That's because I think on top you have that more responsive foam. In the second layer, you have memory foam absorbing a little bit of that motion as well. Now to further test out the motion transfer on this mattress, I lay down on one side of the mattress, Danny moved around on the other side, got in and out of bed, and changed positions. I didn't feel too many of his movements transfer to my side, so overall, some pretty decent handling of motion transfer. If you sleep with a partner or you like sleeping towards the edge of the mattress, you also want to think about edge support. Based on your sitting down or lying down at the edge of a mattress, do you feel secure or more like you're going to roll off and onto the floor? So here I am sitting down near the edge of the Casper Hybrid. It is collapsing a little bit, but not too much. I definitely feel like the coils are holding up my weight. I can lean over and tie my shoes. Now lying down on this mattress, I can roll around pretty close to the edge. I don't feel like I'm gonna fall off the mattress. The edge is collapsing just a little bit, but not too much. So now let's talk about the pros and who I think this mattress might be a good fit for. First off, a very good choice for back sleepers. A good balance of comfort and support, extra lumbar support, and good overall support from the coils in the base layer. It's also going to be a good choice for hot sleepers. Breathable foams right on top of the mattress and a lot of room for airflow with the coils in the base. Last but not least, speaking of feel, if you prefer something bouncier and more responsive, the Casper Hybrid is going to be a good choice for you. It's a more responsive mat, which makes it very easy to move around and change positions at night. And now let's talk about the cons, who I think this mattress might not be the best fit for. First off, probably not the best choice for heavier side sleepers. You might press further into this mat or feel some serious pressure on your shoulders and your hips. If you're lighter, medium weight, it could still be a good choice for you though. It's also not the best choice for those who prefer more of a slow moving memory foam feel. This is a bouncier, more responsive mattress. If you'd like to lie on your mattress and slowly sink in, you might want to look elsewhere. And last but not least, if you're like a lighter or medium weight person, you don't need quite so much support, you can save some money by going with the Casper Original All Foam Mattress. You don't have to spend that extra money for the Casper Hybrid with the coils. So if you're taking a look at the Casper Hybrid, you might want to know how it compares to the other Casper mattresses. So let's do that right now, starting with the Casper Original All Foam Mattress. So the main difference between these two mattresses is going to be found in the base layer of both mattresses. With the Casper Hybrid, you have supportive coils. With the Casper All Foam Mattress, you're going to have a base foam. Now, because of that, the Casper Hybrid is going to be more supportive and more breathable than the Casper Original Mattress. Now, speaking of price though, with those coils, you're gonna spend a little bit more. So the Casper Hybrid for a queen is around $200 more than the Casper Original All Foam Mattress. So because of that, they're a better fit for different types of sleepers. In terms of who should get the Casper Hybrid, definitely a better option for heavier people between the two and those who sleep hot at night. Now, in terms of who should get the Casper Original All Foam Mattress, probably a better choice for those who wanna save a little bit of money and light and medium weight sleepers as well. And now let's talk about how the Casper Hybrid compares to the Casper Wave Hybrid Mattress. First off, in terms of construction, the main differences are going to be found in the comfort layer. So with the Casper Hybrid Mattress, you have two layers and one layer of zoning. Now over with the Casper Wave Hybrid, you have four layers, two layers of zoning. More advanced zoning than you find over in the Casper Hybrid Mattress. Now in terms of firmness, some slight differences as well. The Casper Wave Hybrid is going to be a little bit softer than the Casper Hybrid. Now in terms of price, big difference there. The Casper Wave Hybrid costs almost twice as much as the Casper Hybrid mattress. So because of those differences, they're a better match for different types of people. The Casper Hybrid mattress is a better option, I think, for those who are looking to save some money. And I think between the two mattresses, light and medium weight sleepers. Now in terms of who should get the Casper Wave Hybrid, a better option for those who want something more luxurious and I think heavier sleepers as well. So the Casper Hybrid is a bed in the box mattress. It's going to come to your house in a cardboard box. So how do you unbox it? Well, it's very, very easy. Follow these simple instructions. So first off, bring it inside with the help of a friend. Don't do it by yourself. You don't want to strain or hurt yourself. Now bring the box into your bedroom, open up the top and take out your rolled up mattress. Now place this on your frame or foundation, then slowly, carefully cut the layers of plastic. Clear away all the layers of plastic, the packing materials, give it about 24 to 48 hours to completely expand and off gas, and you're good to go. So now I'd like to give you some additional information about the Casper Hybrid Mattress. First off, it comes with free shipping and returns, a 100 night sleep trial, a 10 year warranty, they offer other mattress models, accessories, and financing as well. And now I'd like to answer some frequently asked questions about the Casper Hybrid Mattress. 
First question is, is the Casper Hybrid worth it? And in my opinion, yes, it is worth it. It's a very high quality mattress sole, I think for a very value price. It also has some really good support in there. Zone support makes it a good fit for multiple seat positions. The second question is, is the Casper a hybrid mattress? Well, it depends on what model you're talking about. The Casper Original All Foam Mattress is not a hybrid mattress. The Casper Hybrid we're talking about today is a hybrid mattress. The Casper Element, their more affordable model, is not a hybrid, but the Nova Hybrid and the Wave Hybrid are both hybrid mattresses. The last question is, can you flip a Casper hybrid mattress? And the answer is no, you cannot flip this mattress. It's only designed to go one way with the coils on the bottom and your zone support system and your airscape foam on top of that. In the end, I think the Casper hybrid mattress is a very good option for back sleepers, hot sleepers, and those like more of a balanced responsive mattress. But that's about it. Just getting started looking for a mattress or bedding, head over to mattressclary.com. We also do a lot of videos just like this. Hit the like button and subscribe.